Hi everyone, how's it going? Hey, so uh, today, um, well, just for anyone who doesn't know me, uh, my name is Alex Golden. I'm the blogger behind digprimal.com. That's D-I-G-P-R-I-M-A-L.com. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, I am going to be doing a quick little video. Hello, hello, who's joining me? Crafty Palette, hello, thanks for coming on. It's been a while since I did a Periscope, so thank you so much for joining. Um, so, like I said, I'm Alex from Dig Primal. I wanted to do a quick video today because I uh, Happy New Year, Happy New Year to everyone. I'm, I'm excited to get 2016 rolling. Um, I wanted to do a quick video because I am, um, I posted recently about my muscle roller stick that I got for my birthday. My very sweet husband got it for me because he knows I have a lot of muscle pain and, you know, after working out and walking around all day and working and all of that good stuff. And so I posted on this over on Instagram on my account and Dig Primal over there as well for those of you who don't know. And I got a bunch of questions, so I wanted to hop on and kind of explain what I did and show a little quick video. Um, actually, I'm going to be turning this into a blog post with a little bit um, of extra information. Oh, thank you so much for the hearts, everyone. Um, and so, you know, today is your opportunity to ask me questions while I'm live, but then afterwards, ooh, I love the hearts, thanks. Um, afterwards, you can um, read the post, it'll go live on Sunday. So um, just check that out. You can find out as much information as you'd like. So thank you so much for joining me. If at any point you have questions, um, let me know. I'll be, I'm a little bit far away from my phone, so I have to go like this. Um, but I can see and just um, shout at me and I will answer whatever questions you got so this is my muscle roller stick I got it off amazon.com uh, I believe my husband paid about um, maybe 15 to 20 bucks for it so not very expensive um, and I actually did a little bit of this was one of my request gifts I looked around and it seemed to be kind of the biggest bang for your buck so not very expensive people said it lasted a long time and it has I don't know if you can see but it has these nice little grooves and in, um, they individually roll so you can get into kind of the crevices um, into your muscles and legs um, as much as you want and apply the pressure that you want Okay, so um, if you don't have any questions about where I got it and all of that stuff, I'll dig into fascia. So um, fascia is one of those things that doesn't get a whole lot of press in the uh, medical community. Is it for after workout? Yes, it is. It's also after any time you feel like your muscles are really tight, maybe standing all day long, um, maybe sitting all day long. Um, if you walked on walked around, um, especially a lot, or travel, anything like that, this this little guy's um, a really handy tool. And I've been wanting it for a while. Before, I was actually using a um, a uh, rolling pin, like, because I don't do a whole lot of baking, and I had one. I was like, I might as well put it to get use, but this thing, much better. Um, so fascia is one of these things in our body that um, doesn't get a lot of press, um, but it's really, really important. So fascia is pretty much... Um, the lining that goes over muscle and between our skin. So it's this connective tissue layer that is really, really durable. It keeps us, you know, if you get a puncture into your skin, it hopefully keeps it from going into muscle and other tissues. Um, and it's especially like vessels and lymphatics and all that. Well, lymphatics tend to be above, but they also can be below. And um, it's protecting all those structures that we don't want to harm when we get breaks into our skin. It also is as the name implies, connective tissue in that it connects um, even though, so generally what happens with muscles is that they have bony attachments from one place to the next. So um, like in our calf, there's muscles that go all, all the way and then from you know the top of our leg down past our knee and all of these muscles have bony attachments. Fascia is one of those things that traverses all of that to keep it unified. Um, so that actually is a really great thing about fascia. Um, it, it keeps everything aligned and keeps everything moving in unison. Now, the bad part of that is when fascia layers get tight and start to have adhesions in them, so like sticky points, or they start to pull on the muscle, it can cause a lot of pain. 
and um, and stiffness and soreness and keeps uh, keep us from moving and being as mobile as we would like. Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate them. Um, and so when they get sticky, it can really hinder our natural movement and our capability of being, um, you know, versatile and moving the way that we would like to move. The problem with our normal lifestyle is that we tend to be in about three to five positions at any given day. Like that you're either sleeping, on, you know, on your back um, with your legs straight. It's kind of like standing. You know, there's different... Gra gravity works in different ways, but really when you look at the movement of joints, there's only so many configurations that we do, and the body is not really equipped to do that. The body is made to be a structure that is very, very mobile and moves all the time. So when we tend to sit in a car all day, sit at our computer all day, sit at our dinner table all day, watch TV on the couch, and we're sitting in one position, that those fascial layers and our muscles get very, very tight. The thing about fascia, like I was saying, is that the fascia moves past the bony attachments in the muscle and actually binds a lot of structures together. So in our leg, the fascia is, um, is kind of like, you can think of it as a stocking. It's not really, but the fascia layers align throughout our, uh, our limbs and then go up into the torso. So with fascial uh, layers, a lot of times they cross midline. So from my left leg, it will cross over and go into the right side of my rib cage, and then it will actually go back again into my left shoulder. That's one of those weird things that can some that happens in the body. We don't totally know why, but these fascial layers do cross at certain different points. And so sometimes when we have pain, it's not really clear, especially when there's fascia involved, how much is, you know, pain at the hip can also have referred pain to this shoulder or this shoulder. And so um, that's one important thing to realize when we're going to talk about muscle rolling because it's not necessarily um, one, um, one thing like I massage my quad and only my quad feels better. I can massage my quad and my lower back gets better, if that makes sense. So I'm going to stop here so I can lean. Do you guys have any questions about any of this stuff? Does this make sense? Do you have any questions? It's a little bit tricky because it's not quite as simple as like a muscle. Fascia is this diffuse thing that we have. Um, if not, thank you for the hearts. If not, we'll keep going. So for that reason, um, I tend to focus on the... Um, the muscles that I know are large groups and the fascial coverings that they have because I know that other things are going to be referred from that. So I have low back and hip pain and so I tend to focus on my quads, my hamstrings, and my calves if that makes sense. The other thing that people usually find surprising is that the connective tissue that comes from our feet and moves all the way up our leg can actually refer pain to other structures above. So really in reality, um, I end up focusing on everywhere from my feet down all the way until my quads and my hamstrings. And I even do it on my lower back a little bit. So that's, that's an important thing to realize. Um, when I do my feet, one thing, so I'm going to turn like this. I usually sit like this. I don't know if you can do this movement, but you can, um, you can use pillows or any other way that this is comfortable for you and use this to actually roll out the bottom of your feet like this or you can put it on the ground and roll over your foot like this okay make sense and then usually what I do is work my way up so I will um, a lot of times the places that hurt the most are where the muscles physically attach to the bones so I focus around here and then up around here where the muscles attach, but anywhere throughout here also applies. And then the same thing applies, I'm gonna turn this way for my uh, leg, usually all around the knee right here, and, and the attachments are on the hips and on the inside here, it hurts the most. Where can we find the rollers? Yeah, the rollers are, um, I got it off Amazon, yeah. Um, so this one, I think I've seen them at Walgreens, I've seen them at Target, I've seen them at Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if like someplace like Whole Foods has them. I'm not sure, but those are all places to get it. So um, generally, um, like I said, even if you don't know your anatomy um, perfectly well, 
in general, bony attachment, okay, thank you. yeah, no problem. In general, um, muscles are gonna attach around large joints. So, um, so just focus on those areas and then work your way up. Um, you can still have adhesions and problems with your fascia anywhere though, especially depending on what you tend to do repetitively. So if you're having a problem at any point along the way, even if you think, well, I shouldn't really be having pain here, it doesn't matter. You just, if you find a spot, I would just apply a little pressure and go really, really slow over that area multiple times. So I kind of get into it. It kind of hurts, but a lot of times as you begin to roll over, over and over again, slowly applying pressure in different, like light, harder, um, softer, harder, and thanks for the hearts. Um, the, uh, that pain will start to go away and you'll start to feel um, those bumps that you roll, a lot of times you know you've hit an area when it's like boom, boom, <laughs> you kind of go over a bump, and as the, those things start to loosen up, that feeling goes away. So that's pretty much it. So um, that's how I like to use it with this thing. It's really easy to kind of even get into the back like this. And then a lot of times, most of us have really, really tight muscles all around our spine. And so I do one of these guys that kind of just let my head rest to one side. And I try to find the knots that are going to be in the neck. Again, the bony attachments in the neck, I don't know if you can see here from this side, are going to be up here and then over on your shoulder right here where things attach. There's also going to be some that are up on the top of your shoulder blade. That one's a lot harder to get, but if you have a buddy at home or a husband or a wife or girlfriend, whatever, um, have them help you out. So when I do this, um, especially things like my, my butt, my back, and my neck, I will get my trusty husband to help me out. I just lay on the floor and I'll have him roll out. Um, if you're gonna have someone roll out your muscles, um, communication is key because some areas need a lot of pressure and some hurt like the dickens and it's just miserable so just you know have them understand what's going on um, continually kind of update them on lighter softer and things like that and um, usually it ends up going really well and when all said and done whenever I do this I feel so much better um, and I am actually going to sit down I just worked out that's why I look like this. <laughs> My apologies. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to put on some friends and I'm going to roll up my muscles. Do you guys have any questions about any of that? Hopefully that all made sense with the fascia and stuff. Otherwise, we'll wrap up here. All right. Yeah. You look great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was just like dying not 15 minutes ago because I did this high intensity interval workout and uh, it was a tough one. All right, guys, have a good night. Happy New Year's. Um, I'll see you back here again. I'm going to be doing um, a whole bunch more periscopes. I have a list of my long, so make sure you join me back.